Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 14th of August 1980, workers at the Lenin shipyard in the Polish city of Gdansk were led by electrician Lech Walesa in a strike that led to the formation of the Solidarity Labour Movement. A decade of economic and political crises preceded the 1980 strike, but it was the Gdansk strike that spread throughout Poland and galvanised various other strike committees to join together for a common national goal. The trigger for the strike was the firing of a popular worker at the shipyard, a female crane operator and activist called Anna Valentinowicz. Just five months before her planned retirement, Anna was sacked for being a member of an illegal trade union. This move proved highly unpopular with the shipyard workforce and they immediately demanded that she should be reinstated. Just a week after beginning the strike, a governmental commission began negotiations with the strikers and, on the 30th of August, they and representatives of the Gdansk workers signed an agreement in which many of the strikers' demands were met. The fact that national political change, including the resignation of the Polish Communist Party's General Secretary, had come about from the workers' action emboldened the people of Poland and fueled the formation of the National Labour Union Solidarity. Within two years, up to 80% of the entire Polish workforce had joined Solidarity or one of its sub-organisations, and they continued to use strikes to achieve political change. In March 1981, the crippling effects of 12 million people going on a four-hour warning strike demonstrated that the Polish Communist Party was no longer the most powerful force in the country. 